This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. One of the reasons that I'm a an opponent of deadly revolution is that there are so many options between here and there. No matter what the situation. It's almost like deadly revolution is the other side of the room and to get there you have to move thousands of millimeters and really you should be stopping at each millimeter trying out the new position theoretically it should take you forever to reach the other side of the room before you think about doing something irreversibly harmful tell me what do you think of this idea you know how liberty folk are always complaining that the people have to go through metal detectors to get to court but most bureaucrats don't Uh, many bureaucrats don't what if a group of freedom activists were to show up let me rephrase that what if one freedom activist were to show up outside a courthouse or courtroom uh maybe one of them would be holding a cheap wand style metal metal detector What if they were to try and check all the police arriving for weapons? Or at least try to. What would the video be? What would the headline be? Those are always good, uh, two good questions to ask yourself whenever you're thinking of doing a PR stunt. Would either of the two be interesting? In this case, they would, because the video would be some cop putting his hands up, probably making threats, get that thing away from me. (laughs) The snapshot would probably be an image of some crazy person, or not crazy, waving a wand around oh, while a policeman's arms are up, oh, trying to wave him off. The headline could be, man tries to search, cop for weapons. That would be viral enough. Good enough for government work. <laughs> I guess if it were to be done, it would have to be done in a, just a certain way, at just a certain place, or a certain type of place, where you could get yourself between the incoming cops in the courtroom while still on the sidewalk or something. I guess if you were on court property or the property of whatever event has metal detectors, someone would come up to you and try to kick you out, maybe before any bureaucrats walk past. But then, of course, you could search that person for weapons. I like this because it assumes uh, one is using... Well, they're not laying hands on any bureaucrats. And I would prefer that whatever device they're using be completely passive, so it's not putting out any kind of emission. It's only receiving data about what's on the person. Heck, maybe it wouldn't even have to be switched on. To make this work, there might have to be an element of surprise. You'd be wanting to catch people off guard as they're going in. This whole idea would sort of illustrate the point uh, of the double standard which is applied at so many events and in court. Just a brainstorm I thought was worth sharing. What do you think of it? LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.